The first mistake that I see all the time is people walk into the recruiter's office and they're like, I don't care what job I get, just send me to boot camp. You should care about what job you're gonna do in the Marine Corps or Army or Air Force or whatever, because the next four or five or six years of your life depends on that job. So it's one thing to go to boot camp, that's only three months long. But what about when you have to do the same exact job day in and day out and you don't enjoy it? You gotta do your research. You have to find other YouTube channels like mine. Maybe use Google, about.com, marines.com. Talk to your recruiter. Go in a bunch of times, bug him, annoy him. Find out more about the career that you want, not just, I wanna be a Marine, right? Because boot camp is three months, but you gotta deal with that actual job for four or five or six years, however long your contract is. And that brings me to my next point, which is don't go to boot camp too soon. So you might be 17 or 18 years old, maybe you're a junior or maybe you're a senior and you just want to go, man. Like everybody else is going to college. Maybe some of your friends aren't doing anything with their life, but you just want to be a Marine. Slow down real quick, right? Enjoy your senior year. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your summer. Enjoy it because it doesn't last very long. And then once you ship off to boot camp, you're no longer a kid anymore. You're an adult. So my advice is don't be in such a rush to go to boot camp. The third thing that I recommend you do not do is get a moto tattoo before you become a Marine. I am not kidding. When I went to boot camp, there was a kid that came down with us and he had a giant eagle globe and anchor all the way across his back. Yeah, as a pulley, he got an eagle globe and anchor, which is something he hasn't even earned yet. So of course the drill instructors tore him a new one, especially when they saw it on day one. Not good news. I, I would avoid tattoos entirely until you're a Marine and you get to the fleet. Just avoid the hassle of getting a tattoo because it could disqualify you from being a Marine. All this, all this bull crap. Just, just don't get a tattoo yet. Just wait. Number four, don't call yourself a Marine until you graduate boot camp. Don't be a recruit or a pulley or whatever and like go to your high school and be like, yeah, I enlisted yesterday. I'm a Marine now because that's a surefire way to get your ass kicked. And my last recommendation is as a poolie, you're probably around your recruiting station. You're probably around other like-minded poolies. Uh, I know when I was a poolie, everybody seemed to smoke and chew and dip and all that stuff. Try to keep from doing that. I know that they're a heavy influence, especially when you go to pool functions and you're doing PT. If everybody's chewing and dipping, yeah, you kind of feel like you have to too, but I wouldn't recommend it because if you get addicted to cigarettes, if you get addicted to chew, and then you go to boot camp, you can't have those things. So just save yourself the trouble of having to go through withdrawal, save yourself a little bit of money, and try not to smoke or drink or any of that stuff uh, before you go to boot camp, right? Try to kick that habit ahead of time so you don't suffer when you already are suffering. I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and don't forget, don't make any of these mistakes when you're a pulley. All right, later guys.